you know, back in my day, the old days, we didn't talk about poker that way. We're like, ah, I think he's got this or I think he's got that, right? Uh, nobody thought of like the range of hands a player can have. So I guess the best example is imagine like all the potential hands as being a part of a grid, right? So the first player to act, they could have any one of those hands, right? Any one randomly dealt, right? But let's say now that that player raised to $3,000. Okay, well, you can eliminate now from this grid a whole bunch of hands that this player can no longer have. Because if they had a two and a three, they wouldn't do that. So you can say, okay, he probably has a big pair. He has ace king. You know, you've, you've narrowed the range of hands down, right? Now, through every action on the flop, on the turn, and on the river, based on the decisions they make, you narrow it down even further. So the range of hands is the whole, uh, the, the entirety of all the possibilities that this player you believe could have. And sometimes they fool you or they have a hand that you don't expect them to have in their range. And, you know, maybe a little bit uh, unorthodox doing some